All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. In the mood to play with my cards. Let's see what we got going on today. Yeah. That's a fender. He was named that because he was found at a detention center. Yeah. Uh, everybody's a rescue. Everybody's a rescue, right guys? Alright. Let's go and see what the messages are just for today. I need to invest in a whole bunch of just all my decks in tiny versions so that I can shuffle them better. Alright. What's the story we got going on for today? Sorry, a little bobbly. Mm -hmm. Coffin. This is the energy of people are watching you, looking for you, searching for you. Always get the energy of somebody watching you through a phone with this card. Feel like someone feels like I don't want to say you're dead to them, but like you're they're dead to you type of energy and they're looking at like I said watching you through the glass. That's the energy I'm getting, watching you through the glass. Interesting. Let's get some stories on these characters, huh? Who's watching who's through glass right now? Sunny and 75 just came on. Eight of Cups. Getting the energy of somebody who walked away from a situation. Idolence means lazy. Whoever walked away was lazy about this situation. Like, that's what held them back, right? And, man... I get the energy, so I get Snow White, and I got the energy of told somebody to go take a short walk or a long walk off a short pier. See how that pier, the little bridge doesn't go anywhere? That's what I always found weird about this card, is because the Eight of Cups is usually walking away, but this person, they're just going to sit on the end of the pier here, right? Get energy of somebody sitting at the end of a pier looking at the moon. Whatever reason you make them think of the moon. Eight of Wands. Yeah, here's this energy. I get the energy of someone who had to defend themselves against toxic energy. You see all those wands shooting at her and swiftness. Energy used in, in, in between the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands as well. The Eight of Wands is usually about travel, movement, separation, distance. <laughs> what is that rainbow bright meme? I'm picking up a rainbow bright meme, right? It's just like what he's like, you can't. Yeah, get an energy battle here for sure. Getting the energy of somebody who was trying to knock somebody down a few pegs. <laughs> that wasn't going to happen for the Divine Feminine in this one though, right? It's like, what? No, you better be careful. I get, get off my cloud. Stop trying to knock me off my cloud. What is your deal type of energy going on here? And it's like, no, I'm not going to lower my standards. I also get the energy of like a mask that came off, right? They could have took this divine feminine. Yeah, they, they 
they didn't, I don't think they realized they were messing with the divine feminine. Whoever this is, was dealing with this person was just like, they thought that the divine feminine was something other than she was, right? Just different, right? They didn't know what they were messing with. They were used to, his queen of pentacles right here at the bottom. Yeah, I get the energy of a male that just wasn't used to divine feminine energy. They're used to toxic little girls. You know, people who embody... Yeah, Six of Swords. This was a rite of passage here. This person is now feeling left out in the cold. They're pondering them hard truths. I get that they want a truth. I'm getting the feminine energy here. The divine feminine, right, I get that. Sit, there's that sitting on the cloud. So it's like, this is kind of the mask, right? I'm getting sharp words. Um, not even so much sharp words, just, just defensive. Not even defensive. What am I trying to say? <sighs> Firm. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that's just like, what? This is what it is. Like, and you're not going to, like I said, knock me off my cloud right now. What? I know what I deserve. And my spirit is not going to let me accept less than what I deserve. Right? So that's what's on the outside is very strong. But in the inside, this person's hurt. This person's hurt. This person's like, what? This is futile. I got a divine feminine that's kind of, you know, tinkering on the edge here. It's just like, Why? You know, like, why is it always like this? Why are guys like this type of energy, right? Like, why, you know, if I'm supposed to be such a divine freaking energy, why is it so hard for me to find anybody who can match my frequency without, without having to, me to do this all the time, right? Without having to do this all the time. It's like, why is it anybody who comes in To this divine energy, why do they have to try to knock them down a peg, right? Trying to get your strength back up. Get this was really disappointing. I get the kind of energy. It's like fine, you know. It's like I've been thrown to the wolves before. Been thrown. I've been thrown to the wolves before, and always ended up on top with success. Like, cause that's what you got to keep grounding yourself into. I mean, seriously, you got to keep grounding yourself into the energy of what I know it's rough and I know it sucks sometimes, but for whatever reason, you know, the universe has your back. You know that that success is going to keep coming in, right? In other aspects. And as long as the, the success is still coming in, in the other aspects of your life, you are still in your divine energy. You're just doing what you need to do. I definitely get the energy. I definitely get the energy of, like, I think I even said this in the last reading, it's like, it's tired of schooling and tired of being schooled, but it's what divine energy does. It's teaching lessons here. It's, and that's why success keeps coming to you. That's why people keep giving to you. Why? Because you're a generous, loving, giving person, right? And generous, loving, giving people are always going to attract people that want to take advantage of you. It just, it's a cold, hard truth of reality in the world. What do we got going on with the love card here? What was the love like between these two? I get this was a divine soul connection. I think I said that in the last reading, too. I said I was picking up past life energies. Let's get one more card on the love of this here. Prudence. Eight of Pentacles. See, I'm just getting the energy of she was the only one who was tending to it, right? It's really what I'm picking up. Only one person was focusing on growing. Prince of Pentacles. You see, one person was, please, sir. What is your deal this morning? 
I don't know who he's looking for over there. He's special. We thought, well, I didn't even think he was going to make it. This dude could barely walk when he showed up. And, uh, it, I don't know if he got rolled by a car or fell out of a car. The tension's next to a highway, which they usually are. Anyway, I get the energy of one person was focusing on tending to the love aspect of this. And I get this person was just more interested in money. Like it was a financial thing. I know I said more. Chariot. I get the energy that there's still a really strong pull between these two. Because even in the way this is drawn out, what's going on between these two, this person's work on tending, I get tending their own heart right now. And this person's working on tending their finances, right? And the bull's facing this way. And then you've got the chariot being pulled here. There's still a lot of divine energy pulling these characters along. moon and pleasure there six of cups I don't know why I just got somebody kept their happiness a secret there's two wolves on the other side of the divide there water energy here like I said sitting on the dock a lot of splashing around the moon here I guess somebody's reminiscing about good times splashing around like I said we started out with that sunny in 75 right and it's just like where is this energy there's the energy of Remembering watching someone playing in the sunshine. Ugh. Not letting them back in. Lessons and blessings about timing. There's a lot of lessons and blessings about timing. This is this is past life energy coming through here. Someone definitely has a strong moral code, right? Get the knighthood card there. Coat of arms. Bound by knightly duty, knightly honor. Someone's compelled, like, as much as, like, it may seem like they're hurting themselves, someone is compelled to do things the way they do out of actual honor. They feel like they're doing the honorable thing. This could be things that came between you in the past as well, like I said. I get the energy of a lot of bad timing. The farm here, rural living, the arts. See, now someone could have been a musician in a past life, and that's why music is so important to them. Something specific about country music, I don't know. Just kind of picking that up with that farm there. Someone might speak in music now, right? They might really, really be attached to it. Issues in transportation. That's always been an issue. Distance, transportation, leaving. Leaving because they have to go do honorable things. Could have been wars and stuff in the past, right? Okay, with the railroad, I always pick up um, during the Industrial Revolution, the railroad boom. When the railroads were being built across the country. Asia, this person could have, they might not even know it because it's kind of hidden, especially in America, 
Um, during the building of the railroads, um, they brought in a lot of migrants from Asia to build the railroads. And then they kind of hid the fact that they did that when it was said and done. So this person, they could have come from rural China in a past life. That's where they get that strong moral code from because they, they have very strict rules over there, obviously. And coming here, they can have very Buddhist tendencies too. So when they came over here, they came over here to help build the railroad and build a life here. Ooh. Got Egyptian energy here. Someone's got a father figure here, food and hunger, forgiveness. I mean, that's why, that's why this person would leave and do stuff too. They could have been, it could have been to feed their family. These lives are about forgiveness. The lesson here in this is learning about forgiveness. Galactic could definitely be star seeds. You guys could definitely be star seeds. I'm gonna clean these up. Definitely be star seeds. What's the dark energy? Oh my god, baby doll. One second, I'm gonna yell. Make sure I hit pause, not stop. Sorry about that. All right, what's the dark energy here? I definitely got a crybaby energy right now. Triumph of lies. Triumph of lies. Someone's got someone in their life that has just been lying on them. I mean, they just, I get, oh, oh I'm so like, I hate this card. That's why I said I showed that image of like she's like defending herself and like warding off these attacks, these things that are meant to knock her down a peg or two, that type of energy. I guess someone was dealing with this is definitely like that. This isn't the narcissist card, but this is someone who's not truthful. This is someone who was lying and deceiving and trying to get people like I get the energy of someone was trying to knock someone down a few pegs and how they were going about doing it is they were just painting a whole illusion. They were lying to everybody. They were trying to make everybody think that they were the king in the situation. I'm a king. I'm a king. But it's just it's just an act. Someone was not truthful with themselves or with others. Um, they could be very superficial right this could be male or female this could be two people who are both like you could have twin energy you might not even know it but you both could be going through very similar things at the same time see the pearl necklace and stuff like that this is someone very superficial who likes to paint pictures right they make they how they try to make themselves look better than someone else is like it's either superficial shit or they just talk shit and they like to create divides. Right? Ooh. It's time of rebirth. It's a time of rebirth right now. All right. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Because remember, I'm getting the energy of whatever's going on here. Someone's definitely being watched through the glass. I get it's pretty much the divine feminine is being watched through the glass. And you could be what? Oh. You could be being watched by more than you think. That is the eight card, right? And I'm picking up the energy of the seven dwarves. So you could be the kind of person, dwarves. Who is it that does that? Someone was always talking about tired of these dwarf stars or anyway she refers to people of low she really should probably call them dwarves but yeah too short for me type of energy anyway I'm getting the energy of like you could have up to like seven X's 
and a divine masculine watching you at the same time right now. Could be watching your social media, things like that. You know, and I get like, I'm picking up the seven, for the seven dwarves, it could be like seven X's, you know, Do you have seven X's. I mean, it's like high school type of energy, right? These are people who have just been in love with your energy for a long time. They know who you are. Maybe they've lived with you at some point that don't need to necessarily be an ex lover. It could just be friends you don't really talk to that much. Anyway, I'm getting the energy of male energies that genuinely care about you and they're very, very sad. Um, for you, right? They feel like you live stuck in cased in glass, but you're alone. Oh my goodness, that's so sad. All right, what do the divine energies in this situation have to say to each other? Oh my goodness, come here. That's a lot. We need to limit it down here. Out of the car. <laughs> You're the type to have loose lips, show a gun, but don't shoot shit. You act hard, but don't do shit. F you and your crew, bitch. Oh, so you have a, <laughs> there's a standoff energy here. Someone's definitely mad. You got loose lips showing them, but don't do shit. This is definitely the energy of this. And I'm getting that this is directed towards this person It's like, man, you just talk shit. That's all you do. F you and all your crew. Like, you guys are nothing but low vibe and sketchy ass mother truckers. You want a heart? You don't know how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts will never be practical until they are made unbreakable. But I still want one. Really, Mr. Tin Man, you really think you still want a heart? Don't ever put me in a situation where I have to show you how heartless I can be. Definitely get yeah, something. I get, I get the energy. Someone's dead to someone right now. It's like, but I am never, don't put me in this situation where you got to make me be heartless. And I think that's what it was. That's really what it boiled down to. It was just like, whoever this, this toxic energy was, is, that was trying to knock you down some pegs. And it's like, you know, okay, yeah, you made me cry. You made me whatever, this, that, and the other thing, because I have a heart. But now that you've shown me that you ain't nothing but lies, talk shit, but don't do shit all the time type of person, you ever meet, <coughs> try to shut me up now, you ever meet those kind of people that are always telling you the things they've done and the things they can do and they're just like, oh, well, I can do whatever conversation is going on. They're like, oh, well, I know how to do this and I know how to do, but you never actually ever see them do any of the things that they claim they know how to do right they're just they say they know how to do it but they never do it's not what you called it's what you answer to That's why they're watching you. You're, like, you're done. You're you're in Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles mode. I get the energy. It's like you're just rebuilding right now. Got anything else? what you called it's what you answer to that's an important thing someone wants to call you out your name don't answer don't answer 
conversation I was having with somebody the other day. Guys will do that. Guys will come up with some stories on a female, anything they can. They might not even want that female anymore, but they don't want nobody else to have her either. So they're just going to tell some ratchet ass stories about her. And it's all to hide the fact, like they'll, they'll you know, talk shit about hygiene or whatever like that. And it's all to hide, it's all to hide their shortcomings. Remember, these people, when they're knocking other people down off the peg, all they're doing is projecting. Everything that they're accusing everybody else around them of doing is what they are actually doing. Right? They'll be like, oh, this person talks shit all the time. No, this person talks shit all the time. Oh, this person's gross. No, this person is the one that's actually gross. You know, oh, that person's a pervert. No, this person's a pervert. Oh, that person's crazy. Nah, this bitch is crazy. Like, <laughs> you got somebody here that's got definitely some serious mental issues. They don't, they can't, I don't even think they could look at themselves in the mirror. The only mirror they catch themselves in is the reflection of their phone while they're watching you. Dude, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. This person's outline persona is making them miserable. Right? I get the energy that this person, Ada Cubs sitting on the end of the pier, this person is so miserable. Because especially that one Eight of Cups card that I pulled up, it's like you're walking away from all that gossip and everything else behind you, but it's a short walk off a long, or a long walk off a short pier. That person has to turn around and walk back through that cups. Those, you know, that, that represent talking shit, right? This person, in order to redeem themselves, they have to tread back through the crap that they caused, the drama that they caused. The bullshit that they pulled. They have to turn around and face it all if they're ever going to evolve. I'm not I'm not sure if they can or if they will. This person may remain in that karmic energy forever. You know, in this lifetime, they may never get out of it. It could be just the debts that they're playing. Someone's doing spells on you. So definitely get out your protection energy. I should have brought my damn spell one out here make sure that you're uh sage in your home doing your rituals whatever make some floor salt only know you love her when you let her go <laughs> wishing you would see me as more than a stalker <sighs> someone's been watching you for a long time long time You changed everything. This is what it is, too. This person is going through it. <laughs> they are going through it. Now, now they're worried someone's going to snatch you from them. They're not going to have any more. I reject people before they can reject me. That's what I mean. This per it, It's shallow. That persona is destroying this person. And this person developed this problem. This is a masculine who has issues with women because they have mommy issues. Excuse you. Where are you and what are you doing? Stop. Why are you being such a pain in the ass this morning? This person has serious mommy issues. They have issues trusting females because they had issues dealing with their own mother. Or a maternal figure. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Anything else before we go? I'm going to get a magic card. I'm going to use these in a good while. Do a magic and we'll do a moon magic. I don't even know what my time is up to. About 30 minutes? Damn, I'm good with that. Safe and happy travel. For anyone who's traveling around, I'll hold that up for you for a second. You can screenshot it. I get the shine off it there. For safe and happy travel and protection on journeys. 
with everything else that's going on here, that putting spells on you, I would definitely, um, like I said, just sage your house, do all your cleansing rituals for your house. Don't forget to get your car. Don't forget to sage your car. I'm going to do that here a little bit. I believe Mercury Retrograde just passed, so it's time to double check your vehicles anyway. The sun. Coming back out into the sun. Fame and fortune. Right? I get the energy of keep focusing on your goals. Keep focusing on your goals. Keep focusing on your goals. Keep focusing on you. And let them watch. Let them watch. Because I'm definitely getting an energy now of let them watch. It's whatever is going on. Prince Charming's fucking coming. Right, you got the seven dwarves sitting around freaking. And don't underestimate the power of what? The people around you that love you. If you've got people from, if you're one of those people who still have people from your past who still love you, right? Everybody's like, you know, you can't be friends with your exes. You can't, you can't be friends with your exes. Da, 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 da. I, I don't know when that started. I don't know when that started. Like, I don't get along with my first husband. I'm cordial with my second husband. But everybody that I dated, I don't think, like, before I got married the first time, everybody that I dated when we were teenagers, we accept the fact that we were children at that time. Right? You accept the fact that you were children. Right? And these people still love you and they still send you that positive energy and they have been for so long. It's very powerful energy. It's part of your divine protection. Right? Their spirit is also an energy that is also protecting you as well. Right? You know what I'm talking about on the 40, 5D type of levels. chasing he's definitely an orange cat Abraham de Lacy Giuseppe Casey Thomas O'Malley O'Malley the alley cat see I'm getting y'all oh, that's another energy that I'm picking up now I'm getting the energy of someone <laughs> a little piece of fluff. He's throwing it up in the air and catching it. Um, the Aristocrats. Have you ever seen the Aristocats movie? Thomas O'Malley is the player. Ends up falling for the Duchess, right? First, he doesn't think he's good enough for her. Thank you. What is your deal this morning? Got the Sabbath. Beltane is coming up, y'all. Beltane is coming up. What are you doing for it? Are you going to do anything for the Beltane? 28. Keywords, changes, phases, and seasons. This card is a seasonal living of honoring the change of the seasons each year and celebrating the abundance of the natural world around you. When the Sabbath appears in a reading, you are being reminded to spend time in nature and with wildlife. The Sabbath card also suggests that there is a seasonal change happening in your life now, too. This could mean that you are about to become a parent or that you are caring for elderly relatives. It might indicate a change in your personal life, such as a divorce, children flying the nest, menopause, or a significant birthday. Something significant is changing or is about to change, and this card is here to let you know that it is a natural progression. Embrace the changes of your life as you would the seasons and enjoy each phase knowing that it will pass in its own time as you move on to the next. Whether you are in spring, summer, autumn, or the winter of your life, enjoy the journey you are on. Okay. Enjoy the journey you are on and live each day. To the full. I'm going to say fullest. That's what, that's what um, I don't know if anybody else reads like that. My eyes are a little few before the word I'm actually saying. 
I like how that's shown for you too. Awakening and grounding. All right. Get out there, y'all. Go do something for Beltane. I think it's tomorrow, right? Or is there 30 or 31 days in May or April? What is today? I'm such a dork. I'm sorry, y'all. No, no. Tomorrow's Beltane. Tomorrow's Beltane. Work in gardens. Start some fires. Burn some shit. Do all that good jazz. In the old days, they used to burn fires and then they would run their cattle in between them or they would jump over them as blessings. I do not suggest jumping over a fire unless your name is Jack Be Nimble. All right. I love you guys. Blessed be. And I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise.